this, it's, it, when I tell you my hair is soft, okay? Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and as promised, I am back with a sacred review on this wash day. So as with any wash day, I like to just let my hair rinse through, get fully saturated as much as possible before going in with any shampoo. First with the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub, there are two shampoos to this line. I do appreciate the applicator bottle for this uh, clarifying scrub because it allows me to get straight to my scalp because I do like to really get a good scrub on my scalp and then allow the suds to uh, rinse down through the ends of my hair. This kind of also helps with me keeping my color vibrant by not, you know, scrubbing my color out essentially through the ends of my hair. So I really liked how moisturizing this felt being a clarifying shampoo. <clears throat> it did not give me like squeaky squeaky clean but my hair my scalp felt fresh like it didn't feel like it was stripped of all of the nutrients that normally a clarifying shampoo will give so I really love that nice and sudsy if that's a thing on the first wash um, which was great I did wash this twice I didn't use the moisturizing shampoo I used the clarifying shampoo twice uh, just for clarification so next up, which is the most anticipated product for me, is the Fermented Rice and Rose Protein Ritual. Comes with this applicator bottle, clear instructions. It's a two-step process. The first step is to put the number one inside the bottle, and then you put in 24 ounces of water, shake it up really good, um, and then you'll add the additional top it comes with, and then you just basically apply that all the way through your hair fully saturated there was definitely a lot of product in there to fully saturate your hair um it really it, i didn't have a smell to it or anything like that it was like a pink color um but i was able to get my entire head fully saturated with this it does come with three or four no it comes with four applications so you have four of the number ones and four of the number two so you can do this four times once you get your hair fully saturated you leave this on for five minutes and then you're going to rinse this thoroughly with warm water and then that's what takes us to step two the instructions are pretty clear it was pretty two-step process pretty simple the second part of this is the silk rinse and this is going to condition your hair and leaves it the silky finish with the African oil blend and the sea buckthorn oil. So this is, this was it for me. And I always brush my products through regardless because I want to make sure my hair is fully saturated. So once I got all this brushed through, I left this on for about five or 10 minutes. I don't really remember. Um, and then we just rinse that out and we're on to the next step. Whenever I'm rinsing a product out of any kind, especially a protein treatment, I want to go in with a brush while I'm rinsing it out. Because a lot of times when you're rinsing your hair, you have a potential of leaving leftover product on your scalp. So by brushing it, it gives me the opportunity to make sure I'm really getting my scalp rinsed off so it's left clean because a protein treatment, if you forget or leave that in, it can be really stiff, like make your hair stiff and hard. So you don't want that for your wash and go, especially after all this work. So I always, with any product, deep conditioner or protein, I like to use a brush but look at my curl when i tell you my hair was so soft y'all like i i couldn't even really believe it it was like i really like why do i need, need to go in with the next treatment mask like my hair felt so good it was like my hair was like girl where <laughs> where has the protein been so next up is the reconstructing treatment mask i really like to go in with anything that says it's reconstructing because my hair is colored this was very concentrated so you don't need much um i did use probably more than i needed to as you can see uh, there's a lot of product there but this jar will last you a good while it was very easy to work through especially since your hair is already detangled um, doing that previous step this also left my hair feeling amazing 
So this was like a spa day for my hair because you know, if you have color and it gets neglected a little bit, it can get dry. So you wanna put that moisture and that strength back into your hair. That's why I was really excited about the protein treatment. Probably gonna keep saying that. But the protein treatment and the reconstructing mask, definitely a, a combination much needed. Now, as you can see, when I'm rinsing my hair out this time, Whenever my last product is before I style, I brush my hair in the direction that I'm styling it. Because what I've learned with my hair is that if I don't do that, it, it just doesn't lay right. So I'm gonna be going in with the oil and the sealing lotion. Those are the two stylers for this line. First thing I did is brush the product through or actually put the product through and then I'm gonna brush it with my Denman brush and then kind of finger shingle it i don't really have a perfected method to my wash and goes yet but i like to use the dim and brush to kind of get the curls to loosen up from each other and give it more volume because if i don't do that then it kind of lays more flat in my opinion so i like to loosen them up so that they'll lay individually versus clump together even though my clump together curls do look great, it doesn't dry great. So I like to then rebrush it and kind of let them hang freely. And as you can see the difference as I go through this. So I'm gonna do this on both sides and then we'll come back in and let it fully air dry. Look how good these curls look. And I'm gonna go in with the oil, but whenever I'm doing a wash and go if my curls look good wet i already know it's it's it's, it's a wrap like i know we we got something good happening here so this is where i leave my hair alone i do not touch it anymore until it's fully dry like i'm still touching it but yeah i leave it alone i don't do anything and we let it dry so this is i want to say like a couple hours later so this is probably 90 percent dry and i haven't broken the cast yet this is just letting it dry not touching it and the curls look really good so this is where i'm gonna go in with the oil again and break up this cast and then i'm gonna pull it up into a scarf to sleep in it overnight so whenever i do my wash and goes like midday or even at the end of the night I I, I don't want to go to sleep with wet hair so I have to make sure it's fully dry and then I do this step and kind of give it more volume by pulling it up with a scarf overnight so you can see the difference on each side and I'm just really just going in with oil pulling my hair and it's breaking the cast giving it less crunchy curl look and I'm not disturbing my definition I'm just breaking it up so that it's just loose and free. So I don't know if this is part of your wash and go routine. Give me some tips, y'all, because I'm, I'm still a rookie to the wash and go game. I kind of just do what works for me. But this is the first step I do. I'm not going to fluff out my roots or anything like that because I wanted to get more volume naturally by pulling my hair up and then sleeping overnight because I want it to last, essentially. So I don't want to do the most soon as it dries because i kind of wanted to do its thing but i'm loving how these curls look so this is how i pull up all my styles especially my rod sets i don't use a hair tie i just pull my hair up to the top and tie a scarf around it please excuse my camera for whatever reason it's like well, where did you go we're not focusing on you but you see what's happening so i pull the scarf up and let the curls hang through this isn't gonna disturb my curls. I don't like to use a bonnet for my wash and goes because I feel like it just ruins the shape. So by lifting up, it's gonna give you more volume the next day. It's just my opinion, this is what works for me. This is how I do all my styles, wash and goes, twist outs, perm rot sets. It's just what works. And then you can sleep on either side. Okay, so really quick because I haven't, I haven't fluffed this out. I haven't done any separating or anything like that. I usually don't separate my wash and goes, but I haven't. I just broke the cast and that was it. And then put the scarf overnight. But as y'all can see, like, 
this it's it when i tell you my hair is soft okay super soft defined i was a little nervous about just using a cream but this this is it i love how my hair feels and the curls are super defined without using a gel and i've just with experience i've been assuming that i have to use a gel i do not so quick recap my faves from the collection now keep in mind i did not use the deep conditioner i'm going to save that for my next style i'm actually going to try this um sealing lotion on a rod set just because and it's the sealing lotion is it's not heavy it's kind of like tacky so you don't need to use a lot it's not it's not like a heavy cream. It's just like, I don't even really know how to, and everything has a scent to it, but it's not like overbearing. It just smells, you know, like when you go to the salon and their products just have that professional scent to it, if that makes sense. So that's really what it smells like. It's not overbearing. Um, I can't say anything smells like something. Um, the clarifying shampoo, I loved it. It really lathered up really nicely. I like how clean my hair felt without being stripped. Now, is it color safe? I'm not sure, but I did see some red color in the uh, water. So, can't really say that it's color safe. Um, I usually gravitate towards uh, shampoos that aren't gonna run my red out. That's how I've been keeping it. But this is a fresh color, so this is really only my second time washing my hair since I got my hair colored. I'm, I'm really loving the definition here. Um, the protein silk combination, the fermented rice and rose protein, which so it's rice water rinse and then the silk rinse cap. That silk rinse cap, my hair felt so smooth and silky. That's all I can say. Like, like my scalp, when you go in here, it's, it's, it's just soft all the way through. And the fact that I'm, I'm getting this definition with, with just a cream and not even a light cream and it's nice and fluffy. So I'm going to go in the roots with a comb, if I can find my comb. I want to fluff it out some more, get my bang a little bit more volume, and come right back. Okay. So this is with just, so I just went in with this comb. I couldn't find my regular comb. I think I left it in the car. I just went in with my roots just to give it a little bit more volume. I'm actually about to head to the gym, so we'll see the true test as to how this survives a workout. But... That, that silk ritual, that was it. Like my hair felt so good, it still feels good. It feels great actually. And I'm, I'm really surprised that this, this definition is popping like this with just a cream. Cause I know a lot of people were worried about that, but I say go for it because it, it has a, a, a soft hold that is doing what a gel would do for me, so. There's that. Um, did anybody else use it? Let me know your thoughts. Um, overall, I I give it, I'm going to say 8 out of 10 just because of the color aspect of it. Um, oh, and the oil. I do like the oil. I didn't really get to say how it smelled, but it kind of smells like everything else. It It's not overbearing. It's not strong. This oil is nice and light. <laughs> I just put some more in my hair. Great for daily use. Um, yeah, so next I'm going to do a rod set. And I'm going to shampoo and use the deep conditioner. Let y'all know how that is. Um, but the reconstructing treatment mask, this one is concentrated. Definitely a little goes a long way. So these jars will 
last a good while. Um, so I hope that was a good review. Um, and my hair technically, I would say it's like 4A and it works for my hair. I had no issues with saying, oh, this product wouldn't work for my hair. Everything worked well for my hair. My hair is considered fine. Um, so for all my fine hair girlies, it works. Um, a little goes a long way with the sealing lotion, the reconstruction mask. So, you know, when you have fine hair, you don't wanna weigh your hair down. So all of that went well. Um, but yeah, so let me know what y'all want to see next. Let me know your all thoughts. Are y'all going to grab any of this lineup? Let me know in the comments. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.